develop. Let's show you the motion with these again, rapidly developing that storm system coming out of Dane County, looking very impressive there, and then also northern Jefferson and southern parts of Dodge County lifting off towards the north northeast. Now, I also noticed here we do have a couple of storms into Milwaukee County, nothing uh, severe with these just yet but an indication that we're beginning to see uh, the atmosphere destabilize even more and these storms are beginning to bubble up and produce some heavy downpours, of course a lot of vivid lightning as well. So right over Whitefish Bay and over Wauwatosa, we're seeing some, uh, some downpours here. We're going to feel for some of the rainfall rates, about uh, two-thirds of an inch per hour, probably a little bit more than that, up to about an inch per hour there, that storm moving over Whitefish Bay and then into Wauwatosa as well. Look at that rainfall total or rainfall rates about an inch and two thirds. So uh, those are definitely some heavy downpours. Watch out for some lightning there. And once again, as we go through the rest of this afternoon, we'll see, I think these storms continue to increase in coverage. And of course, when we have the severe thunderstorm watch in effect, that means that the conditions are ripe for the development of severe thunderstorms. So we have two of them going on right now. I think this is just the beginning. We'll see more of them. The greatest threat, these are not rotating storms as of right now. The greatest threat being uh, with these storms actually, uh, the potential for some strong straight line winds and also some large hail uh, coming out of uh, some of these storms. So actually want to, let's go back to the radar because I want to show you, we have uh, some markers, some indications uh, with these storms themselves. And what we're going to do is start out the storm, find out a little bit more as we examine what's going on with this storm out of Dane County. And as we do that, now there is possibly a little bit of rotation being indicated uh, on this storm itself. Uh, again, lifting off to the northeast. Yes, it says a storm is rotating. Maximum hail size, definitely that is on the severe side, up over an inch in diameter and the probability of severe hail at about 40%. So uh, once again, that's the storm right now, the most significant part back in Dane County, but it will be moving into Jefferson County. Then if we come back over here a little bit, what I want to do is actually uh, kind of zoom out a little bit as we get a feel. Notice that marker right over that area I'm showing you where the, the hail section is. So let's go ahead and track where the storm is going. Uh, going. A little bit of rotation with this storm, a probability of severe hail up to 80%. And speed right now moving uh, towards the east northeast at about 28 miles per hour. So, Watertown, that's going to put it in your neighborhood in just about nine minutes. So, at this point in time in Watertown, please seek shelter. Uh, stay away from windows. You might want to get in the lowest level of your house and uh, certainly don't, uh, don't uh, go up to uh, the upstairs or, or near windows. If the kids are outside, uh, if you have a, a recess here coming up, if you're watching us from a school location, uh, hold the kids inside here as these storms continue to pass off towards the east-northeast, basically between about 30 to 35 miles per hour. All right, well, we will continue to monitor these storms as we go through the rest of the afternoon. Once again, I think we'll see more storms kind of develop now that the atmosphere has destabilized enough that we're seeing these storms where they bubble up through the rest of the afternoon. Extremely heavy rainfall, uh, dangerous straight-line winds, strong winds, and also the potential for some large hail from these storms. Stay tuned to CBS 58, and we'll keep you updated through the rest of the afternoon.